crazy hair, I'm kind of letting the curls set in. But first we're gonna go to eyes because I have a feeling I'm gonna do some glitter. I don't really want the fallout all over my foundation. So I'm just gonna zoom you in really quick. First I'm gonna be taking my Naked Skin Concealer and priming my eyelids. I'm not really sure if I should do a neutral brown or green or blue. I don't really know I have all these colors to choose from. So if I'm kind of everywhere with my shadow colors, just bear with me because I'm just kind of rolling with it. I didn't practice before. The only thing I did practice was the mermaid scales, which looks so cool. And I can't wait to show you guys because it's so easy to do. So first, I'm just going to go in with a neutral color. This one is from Makeup Geek. It's called Latte. And I'm going to be placing this all over the lid and in the crease. Then I'm taking Cocoa Bear and putting this in my lid and crease as well. Next, I'm going to attempt to play with this green color called Envy. It's from Makeup Geek as well. It does have some shimmer in it, so I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. But I think lid maybe? Yeah, let's go with lid. Then make it as seamless as possible, so blending the Cocoa Bear and the neutral browns into the green. Next, I'm taking the sapphire color from Morphe, and I'm gonna see if this makes it pop more. All right, I guess it didn't really do much to the color payoff. I think these colors are just a little bit dark, and I kind of wanted something a little bit more bright, but I think the gradient will look really cool. I'm going back in with Envy and putting that on the inner half of my lid. I actually really like this gradient. I didn't think I would like it that much, so really happy with the way it's turning out. And now what I'm just gonna do is blend it all out with Cocoa Bear. So this is what my eyes look right now, and I think I kind of want to add some gold to it. I don't really know what kind of gold, but I just kind of want to make it look a little bit more rustic. So I'm going to take this color, So Quiche, from ColourPop. It's kind of like that rustic-y mermaid look. It's really cool. I don't even know I had this, so that worked out. And I'm going to apply this with my finger and just put it on the lid. Then I'm just gonna blend that and make it a little bit more seamless. I'm definitely gonna clean it up a little bit when I put my foundation on, but this is what it looks like right now. It kind of turned into like more of a smoky black eye for some reason, but I'm gonna just roll with it. I'm gonna do mascara and eyeliner and everything off camera. And then after I do all my foundation, I'm gonna come back and do the mermaid scales on my face. So I will see you guys in a second. So I use this stencil that I got from CVS, and you can also buy this on Amazon. I will link it down below. Make sure to get a stencil that is also a sticker so that it can lay on your face flat while you paint it. So next, I just took some acrylic paint, and I know this probably isn't the best for my skin, but I didn't really want to go out and buy face paint since I had so much of this laying around. So I used a blue one, and obviously you can use any mermaid type color, like a purple, a green, a teal. I just painted the stencil, kind of framing my eye and then going right above my contour. The next step is to add glitter. I just took a brush and kind of patted it in on the wet paint and make sure it's wet so it can stick so you don't have to use any other glue. Next, to give it that rustic mermaid look, I'm going to be taking Nillionaire by ColourPop and applying this with my finger on top of the paint and glitter. Adding a gold on top really gives it dimension, and I also recommend putting some gold where it's not painted blue. I went back in after this and just put some plain gold scales right beneath the blue paint, and it looks so cool. And I also put some plain gold scales on my collarbone. Make sure you're not as impatient as I am and don't rip it off while it's still wet because the stencil might take it off like it did to me. So definitely wait till it's completely dry. So I wanted to put some scales on the other side of my face too, but I didn't want it to be super symmetric. So I put most of the scales on top of my brow instead of doing it on my cheekbone. This is the finished look and I hope you guys will recreate this for this Halloween and if you do, definitely send me pictures on Twitter or Instagram, tag me on any photos that you do this makeup look for because I would love to see them. 
So for my outfit, I wore these Spanx, which I got offline. I will link them down below as well. They just have that scaly mermaid print. And then for my top, I actually DIY'd this and I put the seashells on it with just acrylic paint and then put some glitter on top of it. And I thought it turned out really cute. But that's it of this mermaid tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Oh,